everybody. Today I wanted to share with you my entire La Creuset cookware collection. I hope I'm saying that correctly. La Creuset. I looked it up. I think that is the correct pronunciation, but if you pronounce it differently, if I'm not saying it right, let me know. So yeah, this is everything that I've been collecting over the last several years, and I just thought it would be fun to share it with you and um, see if anybody else out there collects or uses any La Creuset cookware. Let me know. Um, yeah, let me show you what I've got. So here's a quick overview, look at everything. I'll go through and say what everything is as best as I can and also give you the sizes the best that I can. Wow, there's a really loud bird outside. Okay, anyway, um, this first round pot that I have is a seven and a quarter quart round Dutch oven. And on the box, it doesn't even call it a Dutch oven specifically, it calls it a casserole slash oven. So a lot of these pieces are called like casseroles or ovens. It's pretty interesting just because I've always called them um, Dutch ovens. But yeah, that's a seven and a quarter quart in chiffon pink. Next, I've got a three and a half quart shallow brazier. And again, this is called um, a casserole slash brazier. And again, that's in chiffon pink. I have a two and three quarter quart saucepan with a handle and a lid, and I love this pan. I get a ton of use out of this pan. One of the really nice features is that it's got a little like steam hole at the top so that it lets the steam escape while things are cooking with the lid on. That has been a great help. Oh, hi Pam. Would you like to help talk about our cookware? Back here we have a six and three quarter quart oval Dutch oven. So just a half a quart smaller than the round Dutch oven, but I like the oval shape a lot. I feel like kind of like, not just depending on my mood, but also depending on obviously how much of something I'm making, but also like how much I'm gonna have on the stove at one time, um, that kind of affects what pot I use. This, because it's just a little slimmer and a little smaller, I can kind of have it next to a bigger pot. And again, that is in chiffon pink. So next I come to really the color that got me started on La Creuset. This is what did me in and what had me break down and finally buy a piece after looking at them for a very long time and not seeing colors that I loved. Like I thought they were fun that they have all these different colors, but nothing that I like really, really loved until I saw Coastal Blue. So this is a three, yes, I know, Baba. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry you cannot come onto this table. No, no can do. So this is a three and a half quart buffet casserole is what it's called on the box. And this one came with a metal uh, handle, whereas my pieces in the chiffon pink came with a plastic handle. And I'm, honestly, it hasn't been a problem or an issue. So yeah, worrying about the temperature on those, on how high the temperature in the oven can go for the handles hasn't been an issue, but I know that I have this one and I actually have an extra in a package that I can always switch around um, if I needed to put a piece with the lid and the handle in the oven. So this is a three and a half quart Buffet casserole is what it's called, which I think is funny because on my three and a half quart chiffon pink piece, it's called a shallow casserole slash brazier. So why the name scale changed up from time to time, I'm not sure. It just makes things a little more confusing for me. But yeah, anyway, so this is this is what did it. I saw Coastal Blue and years ago and I just thought it was so beautiful that I bought this piece and I bought an eight quart oval Dutch oven. So a bit bigger than that one since that's only six and three quarters. Um, the, the one in Coastal Blue I bought was eight. And my mom actually has that right now because I obviously have moved on and started buying pink pieces. So I wasn't using the eight quart oval very often. And I thought that she could just take it and use it and it matches her kitchen perfectly. So at some point this might have to follow. If she needs a pan like this, she could probably take that one too. But yeah, this the Coastal Blue was it. It was just a really beautiful and special color and I still like it very, very much. But since then I have kind of moved on to indulging my love for all things pink. Now let's move on to some of the cuter shapes. So I have a two and a quarter quart flower casserole or cocat again my pronunciation i just don't i don't know on that one um but i'm trying to um, be as specific to tell you what the box told me so i'm being as specific as i can so the box does call it 
a casserole slash cocotte. And this one actually lists three colors. No joke. This one says it is chiffon pink. And underneath that, it says bonbon. And underneath that, it says hibiscus. So if anyone can explain that to me, I'd love to know. I don't know why it's got three different names. Like I just assume it's chiffon pink like my other pieces are because they all match. But this is how they get me really confused on their colors because when you list three colors, it makes it a little bit harder. So in what I think is the same color, but I don't have a box for, is this heart casserole, I think this is one quart. Um, it did not, again, it doesn't, it didn't come with a box when I got it. So um, I don't have like the specific info that the box would show on the sticker and on the side. So I'm just um, using my best judgment on other things I've seen online. And I think that this is a one quart. I also have a two quart heart casserole in cerise slash cherry red. That's the box gives two colors for this one as well. So even though this is not part of my usual pink scheme, um, I got this piece, just like the coastal blue pieces, I got it before I had really started collecting and, and getting into focusing on pink. So I got it before, but it's just a classic. It's a very pretty red. I really like the cerise color or cherry red, whatever you wanna call it, I guess. Um, I really like this color. I like the little handles on the side. I like the size of it too. And it's just, I don't know, I think this one is kind of one of those classic pieces that um, even though it doesn't match my current color scheme, I'm happy to hang on to it for now. So now we'll move on to things that aren't cookware, more like bakeware and things like that. Okay, so I have a um, pink teapot, which I don't have the box for. I also have this big and heavy um, light pink serving tray. I think it's chiffon pink, but on the other hand, I kind of don't think it's chiffon pink because in person, I can definitely tell, and, it, and I think it's pretty easy to tell on camera too, that like the difference between these trays, there's obviously a color difference. Like this is lighter. So it's really hard for me to keep track of which pink color is which. But for all I need to know, you know, for now is that this was a pink tray, so I got it. Then I also have this smaller pink tray and uh, it has these handles on the side, which I really, really like. Um, it's been very handy, but the only problem is I worry about when I store it, like if something bumps it or if maybe accidentally like something too heavy gets put on top, could it snap those little handles? So it's a concern, but nothing has happened yet. Um, obviously it's still perfectly fine. Then I also have this serving bowl. No, the tag's not helpful. Okay, I like to check sometimes just because um, sometimes a, a tag will still be on the bottom of something that doesn't get used and therefore washed a whole lot. But as you can see, that one didn't really help us any. But yeah, nice big serving bowl. I have used this several times for fruit salad for different parties and it's like my perfect fruit salad bowl. Okay, so now I have these flower plates and again, you can see some color differences in the pinks. Um, but yeah, I have these flower plates, I got two of them. And then the bowls, I guess, um, they're pretty shallow, wide bowls. So in general, I, I do like the shape bowl. Um, but yeah, these are the matching flower bowls that go with those flower plates. This is a tart dish. So this one still has the sticker on the bottom, so I'll show you, but I thought it was very, very pretty. Um, this is a piece I haven't used yet. I just, I have not, I don't know what to make. I don't know if I've ever even made a tart in my whole life, but this was pink and it was heart-shaped. And I just thought it was so pretty that obviously I had to get it. So let me show you the sticker on the bottom. And you can see the price I paid too. So I paid $30 for this heart tart dish and the color is satin pink. So there's another name for a pink color. And again, just confusing the heck out of me. I also have a spoon rest. Honestly, not much to say about the spoon rest. Um, I use this and leave this out on my stove all the time for a nice touch of pink on my stove top. Then we have a baking dish, rectangular baking dish, and it's seven inches. These pieces, these bakeware pieces, um, like this one, and then the square ones and the ovals that I'll show you, those are all from Home Goods. So this one was $10, and there's no other tag or information about color on here. So I'm not really sure what to call it. Is this also satin pink? Not sure. 
And I only found one of those. I am glad that I got it, but I would like to find a second um, because I kind of like to have two of things. So uh, I've got one for now. Hopefully I'll find a second one later at some point. And then I also have these oval baking dishes, one large and one kind of a medium size, um, also from Home Goods. And then I got, or TJ's, you know, whichever. And then I've got two square baking dishes. And I believe the bottom one would say the size, uh, yes, nine and one quarter inches. Then I also have two small little square ones. They're very cute. Um, these are five inches in size. This is my utensil crock, obviously that same-ish shade of pink. Um, and this is full, I didn't wanna take all my stuff out of it, but this is really how it is on my kitchen counter. Um, you may have seen it in some of my other videos, I leave it out all the time. And I also have some utensils. This is one, this spoony type spatula, which is great. And then I have this little spatula here, and I have this kind of flat uh, wooden spoon here. And I like all the pieces that I've used so far. I'm sure I have a couple more in storage that I'm just saving for now. But so far I have used um, a couple of things. And what I've, what I've used so far utensil wise, I really like. I have two pitchers. I have one white and then I have one pink. Um, I've used them a couple of times, but you know what I really like using both of them for actually is on the rare occasion where we happen to get fresh flowers for maybe a special occasion or something. Um, I like putting these out as like a centerpiece with the fresh flowers in them. Otherwise, the only hitch about these when I do use them for drinks is that when I've got them in the fridge, um, I don't like to have them uncovered, so I just have to put a little plastic wrap over the top. I also have a red two liter mixing jug. I haven't even used it, tag still on. I'm wondering if at some point this will also make its way to my mom. And this was a piece that I bought um, again, before I got into collecting all of my pink pieces. I have not seen this piece in pink. I would very much like it in pink. Um, so I'm gonna just hopefully keep my eyes peeled once we're able to all get back out to stores and shopping and everything. I'm, I'd really like to find this eventually at some point. I've got a lone, just random pink coffee mug. I'm sure this is one of my uh, outlet mall finds, but I just got one. I don't know if they had, I don't remember if they had any more, but. Um, one was perfectly fine. It's just, just for me. Um, and then I have two very cute little heart mugs. So these are heart mug and saucer sets in Cerise. And I would, again, of course, like to find them in pink, but haven't seen them in pink yet. But these are really fun to use, especially around Valentine's Day. Then I have the set of two heart ramekins. Based on the stickers on the bottom, or the marks from stickers, I feel like, Oh, I don't know. No, nope, I can't call it. I'm not sure where I got those. But I got this. Um, oh, wait. First, I got this little um, random heart plate from the outlet mall. But then I also got this 8-ounce petite heart casserole. It's in satin pink. Um, and I know that for sure because I got this this year, earlier this year, at the outlet mall. So it actually had, you know, a sticker and everything. And I was sure of what it was called. So this is in satin pink. Yeah, yep, satin pink. This is my newest piece to add to my collection. Um, before that, I've kind of slowed down on what I'm collecting, partly because I have obviously plenty of cookware and plenty of bakeware and serveware, but also um, on littler things like um, the cute little uh, mugs and mixing bowls and things like that, I can't find them in pink. So I've had to slow down my collecting a little bit. Now I did get most of this cookware wise. Um, things were either gifts, like this was a gift, but that came from TJ's or Home Goods, And then this was a gift and I'm not sure where it came from. But everything else I got from my local La Crusade outlet store. And then um, this was a gift. I believe this is from the outlet. That was a gift. Um, I don't remember if it was outlet or Home Goods. Um, these bakeware pieces were all either TJ's or Home Goods. I think the outlet, the outlet, um, outlet, outlet, don't remember. Both of those were the outlet. This was the outlet. This was either TJ's or Home Goods. And I think this was gifted to me, but I think it came from TJ's or Home Goods. I don't remember. I think that was a gift. And then I got that for myself at the outlet. So that is everything. 
I scoured my kitchen and looked in all my cabinets to make sure I got all my pieces out. And I really think that this is all of them and that I didn't miss any. So yeah, what do you think? So that's all of it. Do you guys have any of these pieces? Do you use any La Creuset cookware or bakeware or any other kitchen accessories or utensils? Let me know. Um, I would love to know. I'd love to know what your favorite pieces are, what works best for you, and what you find yourself using the most often. I can tell you for me, what I use the most often is this saucepan right here with the lid and the brazers, if I'm pronouncing that right. Those are my go-to go-to pieces. I go to those all the time. And then after that, if I'm making a big batch of something, of course, I use one of my Dutch ovens. But that's for cooking. Okay, I can't discount that I use my teapot on a regular basis and I also use these flower shaped plates all the time. Oh, and the spoon rest too, because it's on the stove, I use that spoon rest all the time. So I probably use a couple of these things more than I even realize. I mean, my utensil crock is out every single day. But in terms of cooking, my go-to pieces are the brazers, most often the pink one, and uh, the saucepan. If you know of any good places to get more pink pieces, I'm all ears because I'm always looking for this light pink shade, no matter what they're calling it, because it could be satin pink, it could be called chiffon pink or bonbon or apparently hibiscus. I actually checked the La Creuset website recently and when you do the shop by color, there is no pink shade at all. Not current colors, not exclusive colors or retired colors. They don't show any pink at all. And it's very disappointing. So if you know of any places to get I guess more pink cookware, like I need more, but I'd like to know, um, or any of the bakeware or other pieces like the little heart mugs, especially anything heart shaped, um, please feel free to let me know. But of course, I gotta wait really to go anywhere till after everything's over, so that'll be for the future. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I hope you like checking out my La Creuset collection. I'd love to hear about yours or any pieces you have, and I hope everybody's staying well and healthy and happy, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.